Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of the Eagle Structure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host Leandro Mada and in this video we're going to talk about the one of the languages that we have in the software which is the Structure Test. So let's go to the presentation. The idea is now to explain uh, in detail how to use the function block in or how to organize the code and everything in a structured test. The idea is to give you the tools in order to start preparing the code for you. So let's continue with the presentation. Da, 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 da. So this is from the online help uh, that basically explains what is the uh, structured test. Uh, basically it's a zoom up it's just a text editor so you just it's like a programming c something similar to c so you can program everything in a different way compared to um to a ladder okay with just graphics here is text so one of the important things that we need to configure in the software is the smart coding that allows us to um have a easy access to the variables where we are taping Okay, in order to access to this, just put this, in order to access to this uh, smart coding, okay, is via the tools, options, and then we have the possibility to see the tools, the uh, smart coding. So if we open the, an application, okay, here you can see that, let me just close this and this, we go to tools, options, you have the possibility down here smart coding here you have the possibility to uh predefine how do you want to work okay so here the auto declaration in every for st okay show instance variables in input assistant here is uh, the possibility to assign or show the variable while you are typing after the dot which is important to to know it so this is just a preparation for your code i recommend you take a look on this one and check it for more information about this we have uh, the online help that you have a further description of each element inside the uh, smart coding okay so let's continue with the presentation now once you have configured this there is another um aspect that you can configure if i run this one text editor yes that you can change the view of how you see the information for example there are another softwares or people are more used to the dark uh theme because it's similar to other softwares uh for pcs okay so you can change the theme and you can see how it changed let me just go back here if I open one application that I have, let's see, let's go for this one. Um, this is the smart coding, for example, if I select GBL, the name of the GBL, okay, training dot, it will appear all the value, so it allows you to easily identify and then just enter and start using it, okay. This one is for comment one line, okay? And if you need to comment several lines, just need to use parentheses, asterisk, and no parentheses, and that's it. Just for the information. I believe I'm gonna cover the later part, share with you that information. So if we go back to the text view again, uh, tools, options, text editor, here, you have the possibility to change this, default dark okay and here how it looks like options text editor there you have different additional configuration you can have okay but i'm going to focus on this one and leave it as default because i'm used to this one okay so now if we continue with this there are also on other commands that we have inside the, um, the structure test. As you remember in, for example, in ladder, you have a specific area of um, tools that you can use. Here you can add it if you want. So if you select one of the menus that you have, let me just show you, I believe I have done it on my side. Here, so 
in my case I have already customized this part okay to add all the structure text command that are available if you want to do something similar what you need to do is to go to tools customize you will see this window then here the menu is this menu that you have at the top you can for example select add a separator and here you can add comments here there is a lot of things that you can see but i'm going to focus only in the structure test text editor you can select all of this one and then okay and it will add it in your in your view okay once you have done this there is one useful command that i usually use which is this one the the view ident identification guidance guides so this one basically it add this um this mark okay that is good to track your code so if we go to the software okay you can also right click uh da, da, da. No, this one or is it da, da, da. guidance this one identification guides so every time you use the top you can see this so it's good to organize the code so you can see where it ends and where it reach it is good to to see it okay and then you can with this mark in the left part you can collapse everything okay which is good right click collapse all folds you can do this also okay imagine that you have more code in this and you just want for example you should use some kind of comments over here uh for example uh part uh control something okay to just sum up this and then just continue and separate everything just to reduce the code it's going to be good for you in case you want it so this is one thing that you can do you can comment select the lines okay in case you don't want it so there is a few things that you can do in the structure test okay just to be prepared and start working and try to organize to easily identify the code okay so let's continue with the presentation okay collapse and then how to create the function block okay so if we go again to the to the software just go back here if you go right click if we are in the application three right click add object view you here you need to specify the name and then you have the possibility to identify which kind of view you want i'm going to try to use program and here in the bottom you can see that you have the possibility to select the language so here a structured test now pay attention on the graphic that we're going to have when we add this when you add the view as a text you can see here the the image is text okay if you go here for example the ladder you can see the contact if you're using cfc cfc you can see they have a different block so depend on the on the function language that you that you define the view you define it you can see different um, icons okay now in order to to see for example the toolbox here we don't have anything but if you go to the ladder you can see the toolbox there are some information okay so in order to access to the variables and uh, you can right click over here and use the input assistant in order to navigate through the to the application that you have in order to find what you need the direct access should be the f2 okay so you can find everything you want you can call for example instance uh, let's see if I put this. So if you use, for example, a function block, the instance of the function block, it adds all the inputs and outputs for you to work. Okay. Then with the tab, you can organize this in a different way. Okay, like this. 
one thing important thing that you need to know this one is assignation okay for the input and this one will be the outputs for the uh, outputs of the function block okay we're going to cover that later but what i want you to know is how you can be prepared in order to uh, have a good feeling when you are trying to work with the text in case you are not used to it okay we're going to cover that later how we can work with different function blocks how to make the conversion logics and everything but right now i want you to focus on how to pre-configure the environment to work with the structure test okay so thank you very much for watching this video and see you on the next one